Okay, so Pythagoras said intermediate here at C grade GCSC. So Pythagoras is used with right angle triangles. So let's start off with a right angle triangle. We're going to have a value of six centimeters here. We'll have a value of five centimeters here. And this is the X. Obviously, it's not drawn to scale, it's just a sketch of a right angle triangle. Now, Pythagoras created this formula. Okay? He realized there's a relationship between the three sides of a right angle triangle. Now, his theory, his formula, is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Now, this is not trigonometry. Be careful with these because trigonometry, you need to use an angle. Okay? You need to, an angle and a side to calculate a missing, a missing side or you could use two sides to calculate a missing angle. You'll notice here, we haven't got any given angles. We're not calculating any angles. It's two sides to work out a third side. So I need to label these sides. Now the C is the longest side, and then A and B are the others. Okay, C is the longest side. I'm now gonna use some substitution. Well, if a is six, let's put six into the into the formula. If b is five, let's put five in there. Equals c squared. We don't know this value, but we're going to use the formula to help us work it out. So I could work this out in my head, but I'm going to use a calculator. Okay. If you're not sure what calculator to get. Um, have a look at one of the previous videos where I've clearly explained which ones are the better ones to use. So I've got my calculator ready. I could work it out in my head, but we need to get used to using our calculators. And some of these questions can have decimals. I just use nice, easy numbers as an example. So 6 squared plus 5 squared is 61. Now, that's the value of C squared. However, I don't want the value of C squared. I want the value of C. So to find the value of C, I've got to do the inverse of squared. Now the inverse of squared is square root. So therefore, square root of my answer equals, well it says here, root 61. That's not a decimal. The way I convert it, press the SD button here above the delete, and then convert it to a decimal. And it gives me the answer of 7.81024976. However, we're going to round that to one decimal place. Obviously, I've included my units with my answer. So, formula, label asides, substitution, solve with units. So, let's try another one. Let's have eight centimeters here. Let's have seven centimeters here. And I want to calculate the value of x. So, first step, we're going to label the sides. Label sides. Okay, C is the longest, also known as the hypotenuse. A and B, so A and B are the others. You will notice I've used lowercase letters. Okay, you need to do the same as well. So, label side, longest side, A and B. Okay, we use capital letters to the vertices, which are the corners. So, label side, second step is our formula of a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So, let's put this down here. a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Our third step would be substitution. Which means replace the letters with the value. So, we've labeled these, so a is eight, so then I'm going to substitute that for 8 squared. B is 7, so 7 squared equals C squared. Use my calculator. 8 squared plus 7 squared 
equals 113. Okay, so I've done substitution. However, my last step is I need to solve by using the inverse of square root of square root. So then square root of my answer equals 10.6. So I've got 10.6 centimetres to one decimal place. Be careful of what the question's asking for in terms of rounding. So substitution, solve, and put in brackets here the square root, just to remind you, that's where people seem to make mistakes. Last step, units. Okay, so centimetres, feet, inches, whatever it may be. Majority of the time, it's centimetres, but we need to remember those. So, there's our little step-by-step -step guide. So, so far we've been calculating the longest side. Now, we can use exactly the same formula to calculate a short side. So if we had the value of this one being 11 centimetres, this one being 6 centimetres, we can use it to calculate the short side. So, let's follow our steps then. Label side, C is the longest, this one's the longest. It's the one that the right angle is pointing towards, so that's the hypotenuse. A and B are the others, so A and B. Second step, formula. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Substitution, right. Now, we don't have a value for A, so A has to stay as it is. Could use an X if you wanted to. Still squared though. B is six squared, and then C is 11, so it's 11 squared. Okay, now we want the value of A, which means now we have to try and solve this and make A the subject. So if I was to make A the subject, I need to eliminate this plus six squared. So I need to subtract six squared from both sides. So I've now got 12 squared, subtract six squared. Okay, so then A squared equals the answer to this bit. So I've got 11 squared, subtract six squared, it's 85. Don't forget, we need to square root to find the value of a because at the moment this is just the value of a squared but i want the value of a so the square root of 85 square root of my answer equals 9.2 centimeters to one decimal place so as a little rule there if we're calculating the long side we need to add them together if we're calculating the short side you'll notice it's a subtraction, okay? The longest side squared subtract the short side squared. Little rule for you, follow the steps and get it right every time. Obviously you can have word problems with these. Don't forget, if you've got a word problem, draw your triangle first, label, formula, substitution, solve, units. Best of luck.